Hello, this is David with Mudslinger Pottery. I'm out here in the studio today and I am working on uh, bowls that I threw the other day. And here's one that I've completed. So I've added the handles and I'm trimming. So today I am trimming. I like how my Mudslinger Pottery shows up on the bottom of my pots. And I'll show you how I uh, trim the bottom of my pots. So I've got one right here and we'll get to it. Okay, so here's the, the pot, no handles, bottom's not cleaned up, not trimmed. Um, I'm going to show you right here how I, how I get this round foot. I have a hard piece of plastic. I used to use credit cards, but uh, they don't work as well as the hard piece of plastic. So drill a hole in the bottom and then cut, cut it off. And then when I'm throwing this piece, I can just use that to... Uh, stick that in the bottom and create that that rounded foot and I love how those look um, with these pots it just uh, it just adds something to it dresses them up okay so I am working on my gif and grip here and I'm gonna turn the camera here and I'll let you watch me uh, trim up one of these pots so here we go okay so I've got a gif and grip which holds your pots in the uh, centered position. So I put it down here, try to put it in the center, and you can tighten up the three, three stops just by holding the bottom and turning the top. So now when I get it in here, I always check to make sure it's centered. It's just a little off. That's good, and then I tighten it down. Check it again. All right, that's pretty good. So I just give it a little pop. You move this a little bit so you can see it a little bit better, and then uh, I'm ready to trim. Now I am uh, I'm not trimming a a real heavy foot. I'm just gonna add a nice foot to it. You can see it right there. I have left enough room in the bottom of my pot that I can do this and, and trim that out. But I also have to trim a little on the side, um, like right in through here. I don't like this line right here. And basically what I'm doing is trimming so that I will clean up this line and get a nice shape right here. So I'm going to start right here. And I just use the basic trimming tool. I've tried a lot. Looking at us here, this is not on center. Let me fix this up here. This looks a little better. All right, so I'm just I'm trimming this edge over here, this side of the pot. Actually, I'm trimming the whole pot, but I'm just cleaning up the bottom part of my pot and trying to make sure that I've got a good line, a good, uh, good smooth curve into this pot. It never ceases to amaze me how just the smallest variations to pots can, can take it from looking okay to just looking right. So getting the right line on your pots is really important and that's what you can do with trimming you can get that nice shape that maybe you didn't quite get when you were throwing it I'm gonna try to get this I've got an edge that I've cut a groove into here so let me clean my uh, my trimming tool and see if I can't get that out of here Get a nice smooth pot. There we go. Okay, now the bottom of the pot, I'm just going to have a round foot on the edge here. So I'm going to start in the middle. And like I said, I have left uh, enough clay in the bottom of this pot so that I can trim some of this out and create a foot. And the difference I feel with 
having a foot versus not having a foot is just is just huge. It just it shows that you spend a little more time with the pod. I feel like you can sell it for more because it definitely looks better. It looks like you've worked the pot more. The other nice thing about that is if you don't trim it, then you've got this whole space here that has the possibility of having a burr, piece of sand, grog that is sticking up and could uh, scratch somebody's table, which no one wants that. I, I hope that my, my pots get used. That's my goal. I'm trying to make functional pottery. So I'm trying to avoid issues that might damage someone's property, their table or whatever. So I'm trimming this out, trimming it flat, maybe trimming it just a little, little deeper right in this section so that it'll come out a little bit more like that. If I were to cut this pot in half, I think right here would be the the thinnest pot, thinnest spot of the pot, whereas further out it probably thickens up a little bit. So by trimming it out and just curving it down into it a little bit, I like the look of that and it also creates the illusion of a deeper foot than it probably really is. trimming these. I'm trimming these where they're probably a little damper than a lot of people do. I feel like I get a better look. I can clean them up better. And I'll show you how I do that when I get to that point. If I, if I don't let my pots get super, super dry, just a little bit damp. So I'm trying to get all the, the pieces out of the way so that they don't they don't become an issue and get in the way or make lines in the bottom of the pot. And I'm just gonna clean up this rounds foot. Make sure it's level. I'll do is I will take a red mud tool rib, dampen it just a little bit, and push it down into the bottom of that that foot. So I am forcing it into a little bit rounder, smoothing it out. I'm pushing all the grog or sand down into the clay, and you can see how smooth that is now that I've done that. Same thing over here. I'm going to clean the side of the pot up a little bit and smoothen that out. So then the last thing I do is I have a stamp with my Mudslinger Pottery name on it. And I will stamp that into the bottom of my pot. And then what I do with this is I will glaze it with a black glaze. Um, and I do not glaze the bottom of the pot. So this, uh, my stamp will, will kind of jump out because it's got that black glaze in there. It, it uh, really has a good look. One more, one more step, but it's, uh, it's worth the difference the way I, the, what I feel. So there it is. I'm going to put that up over here, and when I'm done, a little later today, I will have the handles on, got it all trimmed, and they're going to be uh, little mixing bowls or serving bowls, and I'm going to add a, uh, a little whisk when I sell these. So hey, this, is, uh, this has been David. Thank you for stopping in. Um, Please like uh, the video, and if you can hit the subscribe and help me out, I would sure appreciate it. I'm trying to uh, 
to work a little more with my YouTube channel and, and get some more uh, some more videos out there. I uh, have been uh, throwing pots for over 30 years and I feel like I know a few things and I would like to help share it with uh, some of the other potting community. So hit that hit that subscribe button for me and I'll get busy and start making some more videos. So thank you so much. This has been David with Mudslinger Pottery here in Charlotte, North Carolina. You take care. Have a good day. Bye.